Hi everyone. Um, welcome. Uh, my name's Wicked Jado. Um, I'll be starting a new series called Raid My Bases, um, and this is one raider's attempt at. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the the map name is, but I'll I'll share it in the description below. <laughs> Okay, so he's looking up the dead man drop to kill Harvey. Um, there's really not much to see here, um, but he's trying to get out. Okay, and he, he makes it out okay. Um, we'll speed this up a bit just so we I'm not going to skip ahead um, just because of there's an existing bug where our replays will just crash. Um, so if you're curious, that, that's why we're not skipping ahead. Okay, so he's entering the main base. Um, this glass tube. Um, yeah, we'll slow it down a bit. The, he's met with uh, a flame turret at the start just to apply that, that initial pressure. Um, Takes that out. Okay. Now, like, he's kind of graded the main part of the base. Because there's just a set of ravages and enforcers just guarding every single angle. Just being attacked constantly. Um, can't escape. And he gets caught up in one of the little, um, drops there, which will drop you into either a, a pit of acid or um, the, the spike trap there. He knows what he's getting himself in. There's the Harvey dead man drop. Okay, and there you can see on the left there, right there cause, uh, that's where the freighters want to try and get to. On to round two. So he pushes pushes them down. And really, the only thing you can do here is to push straight through. <laughs> he just lands straight into the corrosive. I th I think he was trying to find like a safe spot to kind of hide and just didn't realize it was a bit of acid. Okay. This up. Interesting he's got the Phoenix pod, but he doesn't use so They probably still trying to scope out if this level is doable. Yeah, you really just gotta push in. You can't just sit back. Um, unless you've got a different uh, loadout. Um, his current loadout's not gonna let him just sit there. It is very daunting, I, I will admit, like, seeing this probably for the first time, and it's quite overwhelming. There's, you're just being bombarded from every angle. And there's, there's basically no safe spot, especially in the middle where they can all, their range can reach, right? Yeah, he, he's deep in the big tank. Okay, so you see him push out, which is smart. Pushing into the corner, and yeah, th this is the problem, is if you're not committed to killing them, they'll just snipe you um, as you're kind of going around them. So 
Ravages, in my opinion, are one of the strongest minions in the game currently. Um, likely they're going to get nerfed in the next patch, so. Um, but they're, they're my initial thoughts. They're just ridiculously strong. They're at, their range is about as good as the Enforcer if you um, stick them on like a single panel or a single cube um, where they can't path, then it's unstoppable in my opinion. Um, and then the spread as well. They've got fast shoot range and yeah, it's, they're really powerful. But one thing I didn't mention, um, the, the colour scheme here, the idea here is you want to match the colour of a bedrock so that we can, uh, at later prestige levels we can hide more of these drops. Um, so as you're kind of navigating and like concentrating on the enforcers or the ravagers, um, they'll just blend straight in. So you just accidentally drop down. Okay. Uh, I forget what round we're up to, like round four. Or There you can hear the spike trap. Um, unfortunately, the minions will um, explode those spike traps. But if you're caught off guard and you don't realize, like when it spikes, exploded or uh, okay. So he's made it into the um, sewers, I guess you'd call it. Um, and now, yeah. This is the trick. Yes, you are in more cover, but you're actually more closer to them as well. Um, so it's it's a really tricky setup. Um, not sure what he's doing here. Like he might be trying to look for another way in or something. But yeah, uh, at one stage I did have a uh, hole <laughs> exposed, but. Yeah, I've, I've patched it up. Like he's just looking around. Okay, let's see if he goes in for one more time. Okay. Might be the final attempt. Let's see how it goes. This is one, um, I, I would say, uh, a weakness to it, because you can sneak up on them in the right angle, but it, it isn't easy. Um, and there you can see there's a two, two corrosive pit. Um, basically the idea there is as raiders are shooting these guys down, they'll fall down into those pits, um, and then you can't get your ammo back. So eventually it's just kind of a, a way to um, starve the player of their ammo uh, over time as, as they're shooting those minions down. Um, it's not as effective as with melee obviously, um, but that, that's kind of the idea is we want like any time a player tries to shoot, 
um, from range, but they then get penalised for doing that. Um, so it's it's a really tough map to kind of crack. Okay. And it's especially punishing at long ranges, so in the centre here, you can snipe them, maybe with the crossbow. Um, but as you're shooting from further away, you get less power, I guess. Um, so they don't go flying off the map. They, they kind of just subtly kind of drop off the side of the game to uh, cross the pit. Really unlucky. Yeah, that, that's one thing is that if you're poking your head up too quickly, I thought that's going to happen. Um, cool. Uh, I think that's it. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, um, consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps out. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>